Welcome in to the Cleveland Browns Report, day three of NFL free agency. And as I film this right now, the Browns have not done anything today. So we're going to talk about a potential trade target for the Browns because maybe Cleveland is sort of drying up in the free agency pool and they want to fill out the rest of the roster via trade. So we're going to dive into this and break it down during our live show for free agency. So make sure to subscribe to be a part of future live shows. But we got this report coming in. It's from Sportsnot. Okay, now you might not know who that is. That's fine. You might know who works for them, though. A guy named Benjamin Albright. Right. That's the guy who said Deshaun Watson would never go to Cleveland. Well, he got that one wrong, but he's been right on a lot of other stuff. So I am going to take his word, and I do think he is a valid source out there. Now, Sports Not tweeted out, the Broncos are listening to offers for Jerry Judy. Our Benjamin Albright provides some inside information on Browns and Cowboys' interest as we look at six ideal landing spots. I'll save you the click right now. The six landing spots were... Cleveland, Dallas, Chicago, the Giants, Packers, and I'm blanking on the other one. I'll remember it later. No, it wasn't the Patriots. Oh, well, it'll come to me later. That's bad radio. But let's talk about Jerry Judy for a second here. Because Jerry Judy, when you look at his stats, I mean, if you're using a blind resume right there, I don't think you would look at that and go, wow, that's someone who you go for a first-round pick for. But he ended the year on a really high note. He definitely showed why he can be a Baltimore Ravens. That's the other team. Just hit, just hit me. That's the 16, the Ravens. Back to Judy, though. So 972 yards and six touchdowns. I just want to get this out in the open right now. How are the Browns going to trade for Jerry Judy? Denver wants a first-round pick for him. Like, we can look at the stats and we can really break down who Jerry Judy is as a player. But let's address the biggest hurdle, in my opinion. What does Cleveland have to offer that is better than the other five teams, right? They don't have a first-round pick to give. So if Denver really wants to move on from Judy because Sean Payton doesn't think he's a good fit for his offense, okay, I can, I can buy that, right? I can follow that train of thought. But they're not dying to trade him to Cleveland. They're dying to trade him to the best offer. And I just don't see how the Browns could put together the best offer for Judy. Would I like Jerry Judy on Cleveland? Yeah, I think he'd be a great fit for Deshaun Watson in this offense. But at the same time, how are the Browns going to pull off a deal to get Jerry Judy, right? I mean, if it's a second and a player, okay if... Denver really feel that, that player is better than a first-round pick they could get elsewhere? But it's not like it. I mean, I just, I really struggle to see how this could get done, right? If we want to talk about a player being kicked in with the 42nd pick in the draft, really two come to mind. Greg Newsom, which I don't think Denver would really like to give up to get, uh, give, uh, give up Jerry Judy for. I don't think they're really getting better from that move. I know their offensive line was atrocious last year. They already signed an offensive guard, but maybe they want to add Wyatt Teller and reshuffle around a little bit. But even then, I just think they'd rather have the first-round pick. Something the Giants or the Cowboys could give them, or the Ravens or the Packers, right? So that's where I'm like, yeah, Judy to the, the Browns would be fun and all, but how are they going to get this done? But let me know. Should the Browns trade for Jerry Judy, right? Do you think this is something Cleveland should pursue? Well, we just talk about Jerry Judy as a player, right? Ignoring what it would cost to get him. Do you think Jerry Judy is a good player to add to this Cleveland Browns roster? Let me know in the comments section below. And hey, while you're getting your answers down below, I want to tell you guys about today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Athletic Greens. Now, I take AG1 by Athletic Greens literally every day. When you go to athleticgreens.com slash chat sports, you're going to find out about all the great daily nutrition facts going on. Now, I started giving AG1 a shot because I hated taking pills or vitamins and wanted a supplement that actually tastes great. I take AG1 in the morning. It makes me feel ready to take on my day. It also really helps with starting the day on the right foot and getting into a healthier lifestyle. Covering my nutritional basis for the day 
also couldn't be easier thanks to Athletic Greens, which is why all I do is just mix one small scoop of AG1 with water, drink it first thing in the morning, and it's done. I also really like that it costs less than three bucks a day, which if you ask me is pretty good. It's a very effective daily habit with great ingredients as well. So if a comprehensive solution is what you need from your supplement routine, then Athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. So go to athleticgreens.com slash chat sports. That's athleticgreens.com slash chat sports. Check it out. The link's in the comments and the description of today's show. Here you can see some awesome benefits it comes with, like promoting gut health, supporting immunity, and boosting energy. Make sure to take make sure to pay him a visit if you haven't already. Let's get back to Jerry Judy for a moment. So now let's talk about trading for Jerry Judy. If, if the Browns have a trade package that Denver would accept, is this a guy Cleveland should pursue, right? Is this a guy that I think would have to cost a second round pick? To that, I would say, yeah, it is. 972 yards on a Russell Wilson and Nathaniel Hackett offense last year? Probably not easy to do. He also ended the year on a very high note. I mean, the guy had a hat trick against the Chiefs when Denver almost beat Kansas City at home, if you remember that game. But Jerry Judy, I think, the ankle injuries early in his career, similar to Jed Wills, really hampered him and slowed him down. But now he seems to be past that. And I think Judy could be a very, very fun pickup. I mean, just imagine an offense with Amari Cooper, Donovan Peoples-Jones, and Jerry Judy. And to go along with that, Judy's contract, he's on a rookie deal. It's not very expensive. His fifth-year option will get picked up this offseason. So with that being said, he's played three years so far in the NFL, 2020, 2021, and this past season, 2022. So you get him for two more years on his rookie deal. If we're thinking forward here, I don't think Amari Cooper is going to be on this team when Jerry Judy would be ready to cash in for a big contract in the offseason. So I don't think you'd have to worry about how you're going to pay all these guys. Well, at that point, Cooper would probably be out from Cleveland. So then you could roll with Judy and Donovan Peoples-Jones. I'm kind of living in Candyland right now because as I give that great sales pitch, I go back to where I started. How are the Browns going to get a deal done? Now, if you want to subscribe, please go ahead and do so. We're trying to reach our next milestone here at the channel, 18,000 subs. So hit that sub button before you get on out of here because we're going to get you guys the latest Browns news and rumors all season long. Some other free agent targets if they don't get Jerry Judy, some consolation prizes. And maybe by the time you're watching this, someone's already been signed. I love Mikkel Hardman. He might have to get a restraining order for me because I have been obsessed with the idea of signing Hardman for this offense for quite some time now. There's Adam Thielen, who would be a really good red zone target. My only hiccup with that is, do the Browns need a ton of help in the red zone? I don't know, you just gave David Njoku a ton of money. He's a good red zone target. I think Donovan Peoples-Jones and Amari Cooper are good red zone targets, right? They're not like Julio Jones, Allen Robinson type receivers. But Thielen, last year, six touchdowns. We know how good he can be. Yeah, if you want to come over for a year and just play a couple snaps inside the 20, I'm not going to pitch a fit against that. Paris Campbell was one to keep an eye on. He was really bad to start his career, but last year with the Colts, when they were really bad on offense, he flourished. 623 yards and three touchdowns, so that could be a name to keep an eye on for sure. Those are some other wide receiver targets. That's going to do it for us on this segment of the Browns Report. At the end, in conclusion, would I like Jerry Judy in Cleveland? Yes. Do I see a way they get a trade done? Unfortunately, no. But who knows? It's the NFL Crazy shit happens.